guys. So how are you doing today? Hope you're all great. Thank you for your all support in the channel, YouTube channel. And we got this BMW next couple of days. We've been working on this uh, E28 from 1987. And again, this is not original paint. So we've been approaching uh, this vehicle very carefully because we've been respraying second time. And it's two pack paint. So we got on this side, literally left hand side, we got about 130 microns. And because it's two pack paint, everything in terms of lacquer, primer, everything is mixed up together. So that's the reflect on the parts. So we come about 17 microns. It's not perfect on the right hand side of the bonnet. It's not perfect, but it's much more uniform and much more glossy and we seal it with ceramic coating to seal it, the litchi panel. So in terms of if it's any out there, the classic car collectors still can be approached instead of respray the vehicle, still can be approached very gently, very nice and bring the gloss back and secure it with the sealant as a ceramic coating litchi can be preserved, which is very important. Okay guys, so let me show you the panel. So you see guys, this is the damage panel. After decontamination, we got all the swells and all the love marks and litchi bird stuff on it. There's no whatsoever any shine. Everything is milky and everything is very, very dullish. On the right hand side of the panel, we did two stage polish and ceramic coating already. So it's big improvement in terms of gloss, about 80% come completely. And we try to do like more frame this car. So it's all car look, literally glossy and shiny and preserve, which is most important thing with this type of vehicles, literally 30 years old car. So it's all about preservation. Okay, so instead of respray the car, we can preserve it and make it glossy, shiny, and looking beautiful again. So literally we start polishing the last bit of the bonnet and the lots of tons of residues coming off. You see on a, this part meant to be green, literally the paint coming heavily off. I'm going to show you once we put it on. That's why it's very important to know how much and when to stop literally polishing. Okay, so to make lovely, shiny, glossy, but avoiding the white pudges missing the paint, we need to in certain places stop and let it be literally with the scratches, certain defects, make it glossy, preserve it. And again, with the ceramic coating, you preserve this paint, it will be beautiful again and seal the litchi paint. Once we're polishing, the residue coming heavily, heavily off from the bonnet, paint residue. The two pack pain, we slow down. And with a couple of passes, you would see how badly coming off. So guys, this is prime example, the white patch, as you see on this door panel, been burned through. So what we're gonna do here, go really, really extremely gentle, only with refined parts, literally with refined polisher, go on it, make it more uniform, make it more you know, glossy, shiny, but again, miles away from the perfect, but will be much more 
better looking, much more gloss, and we try avoid any burning through the panel, lychee. So we go with the refine and seal it with ceramic coating so it will be preserved. So sometimes we can't do everything go 100%. It's all about preservation, especially with old cars. Make them more shiny and glossy again. So we go do a couple of passes and you would see before and after. So now I'm going to polish it off with a microfabric tower and let you would see the residue and so much junk coming on the top of the tower and you would see how much lychee, I would say 65, 70% in terms of gloss came back. And uh, white patch, much more uniform, much more glossy. It's all about uh, lychee to find the right part and right compound. Uh, in this case, we go for the finest one, spend more time on it, but refine, refine, refine the paint, instead of go for the, all the scratches and defects, because it's such an extremely thin paint. So we make decision, go for the refine, I mean, soft part with a refine compound. Okay. So in terms of for the interior of this vehicle being, it is 30 years and Litchi during the time obviously was in a garage, uh, moldy places, etc, etc. So it's certain smell in this vehicle, even we did wet and dry carpets, steam, completely all the carpets, interior seats, everything is still kind of detergent smell. It's not that pleasant, let's put it this way. So what we're going to do in terms of bacteria or kill anything, the smell, etc., etc., we're going to use ozone machine. Next couple of hours, we let it run ozone machine and we'll be maybe two, three days. You can smell metal smell. But after, like literally two days later, we'll disappear and would be nice and beautiful. Pleasant smell again. So really good. We're going ahead and use it and yeah. <laughs>